What's up, YouTube? It's Torhan coming at you with another episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. And what we're going to do right now here is we need new armor. So we're going to make some armor and enchant it. So... Doo -doo -doo. We'll do the boots and the hat first. Hat, boots. And we need... Legs... legs and then we need a chest which should be that there we go so now we're gonna go enchant these and see what we get and basically as you can see here real quick I have 50 levels I sat in front of my spider my uh, not spider but my skeleton farm for a while and got 50 levels worth for you guys so what we're gonna do here is find some level I'm thinking level 10s for these 10 to 12 yeah we're gonna do 12s and that gave us projectile protection not bad let's see what we can get on these because if I do four level 12s that's 48 Gives me a little room for uh, for air, or maybe it'll give me a little bit of room on my helm to go a little higher. Maybe, or maybe in the legs will do a thirteen. Projectile protection. Wow, these would be great for PvP. And we'll take the eleven there. Wow. So that leaves us with 14 levels. Okay. Let's see what 14 levels can give us. There's another 13. Another 13. I don't know, you guys. We may have to take the next, like, 13 we see. Yeah, why not? Let's take the 13. Protection 2! Woo! So, they gave us Protection 2 on the helm. We still have Protection on the chest and the legs, so we'll let those two wear off. And then we have Projectile Protection 3 on the feet, and then that on those. Uh, basically, I'm getting geared up to go uh, caving with you guys. So we need to get some more torches and some more iron ingots, and then I'm going to meet you guys over at the cave. So, I will be right back with you guys as soon as I'm over there. And we're back, you guys. We are now in the cave that leads to the the uh, abandoned mine shaft in the other ravine. What I did the last time we were here is I actually marked the path with wood so that we could get back there a little bit easier. And I did remember that we have some stuff to collect around here. Okay. You know, I can't remember what's up this way. Oh, yes. So... We have a nice wooded path to help us find our way because there's so many t twists and turns down here you guys this cave system down here is really just kind of crazy but it works and we don't want to fall in there so we're going to Just kind of close off that little section there, so if we slip there, it won't kill us. And 
And I haven't really explored back here yet. I thought I had. No, it doesn't look like there's much back there, actually. So I think we're all right. So we come down there. We don't go that way. But we go this way. Yeah, it took me a little while to get my way back out of here. Because um, on my way out, I was checking off the sections that weren't the proper way to go. And I was marking the way to go back. That way we could find our way back to that, that area a little bit easier next time we came back. And you know what I forgot? It was a bucket of water. But we can always craft some uh, a bucket. Actually, I'm not too worried about that. Because I'm pretty sure I brought the iron. Yep. Let's actually do that real quick. So if we come across any water, we can pick it up. Because lava sucks and water buckets are your friends. Alright. Oh, hey, look. Over there, there's something. I hear zombies. Oh, nope. We wanted the glass. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Yes, I know I'm getting sidetracked. We were going to go to the ravine, and I'm sidetracked by this thing over here. She's just dropping the lava. Oh, looks like there might be a zombie dungeon right there. Or a dungeon of some sort. My guess is it's a zombie dungeon because of the amount of zombies I hear grumbling up there. Oh, and they can't get out. Nice. Come on. Come down here. Come chase me. You know, I'm using the wrong bow for this. I know that creeper's up here. Yep, come after me, creeper. Come to me. Oh, hey, you can blow up. That's fine. As long as you don't free the zombies, we're good. Anything's coming from that way. Make sure you don't get surprised from this direction. Eerie cave sound. Q now. Dun dun dun. Alright. 
Let's go check out what's in the zombie chest. All right, so how do we want to do this? Check that out. String. Oh, hey. A bucket. And cocoa beans. Ooh, there's two chests in there. Come on, hurry up and die. Where's the creeper? pick where are we getting a zombie certainly not in here probably one in the in a hallway somewhere that would be my guess, as they spawned outside of this room somehow. And gunpowder. Wheat and redstone and more cocoa beans. Alright, so... <clears throat> excuse me. We'll drop the gravel. Drop that and that. I already have a stack of that. I already have a bucket. We'll come back for this stuff later. I don't want to be carrying it around, though, because we're going to run out of space if we're not careful. Uh, we'll drop a couple potions of swiftness, because I really don't need those to run away from Zomberts. Fire protection we'll keep, just for the heck of it, and one instant splash. We'll drop the iron ore off, and we don't need the sand. Or that. Okay. Because I want to come back and collect all this stuff here. And I don't know if I want to keep the zombie spawner or get rid of it. Maybe we should just kill it. Nah, we'll keep it. What if I want to do a zombie spawner? Or a zombie farm? Because they do have iron, which is handy. Because, I mean, how often can you get iron? We can make a iron... We can just make a killing machine that just kills them for the iron that they drop. Let's save us a little mining time, maybe. It's cool. Looks like it was worthwhile to go check out over this way. It's pretty sweet. This cavern system so far has netted us a zombie spawner and a uh, skeleton spawner. Because if you remember right, the last time we were exploring, we came across a skeleton spawner up top. Alright, now... So this is where we start. Okay, we gotta go this way. I was like, wait a minute, where are we? I know where I'm at. So we explored those two. And that one. Now we gotta go this way. I was going the right way. That's all lit up over there. Okay, wait. Yeah, it's lit up. Wow. Creeper. Jerk. You blew stuff up. Luckily it wasn't my wood. You punk. Alright, so we go up here. La -di -da. Try to avoid any uglies that could be coming to scare us. Or try to kill us, actually. Can't help myself. Must grab it. But just to keep ourselves from having things come up here. We'll do that. And that'll keep us safe from that direction. 
All right, yeah, we're almost to the ravine, actually. So, we will throw down the diamond. And the efficiency, okay. My lovely efficiency pick here is almost... My efficiency pick is darn near close to dead. Which kind of sucks, but we can always go and chance another one. It's pretty easy to get the experience levels. You just sit in front of the skeleton grinder for a while. So I have 26 coal. Yeah, why not? I should just use the fortune pick on these things to get a ton of it. But I've actually used quite a bit of my coal in all my furnaces I have going at the wizard's keep to smelt uh, stone for me. And here we are, back to the ravine.